Hi, welcome to the Computer Advantage YouTube channel. My name is Larry. Today we are going to be talking about Mac OS Mojave, your iCloud account, and how signing in moves things over, assuming you're using iCloud. We're going to see how that works. What we have is another Mac OS machine running Mojave with over 500 gigabytes of data on it and well over 500 gigabytes of data in iCloud. What we're unboxing is a non-touch bar 256 gigabyte MacBook Pro. So this is the one that is $14.99 right now on Apple's website. We're turning it on for the first time, so essentially we will end up running through setup on this machine, then taking it to Mojave, then signing in with our Apple ID to see what data comes over. So here we are, we're at the screen reader. We're gonna use English as the main language. We're in the United States, US. We are going to hop on some Wi-Fi here. Doesn't matter what our password is. We're not going to transfer any information for right now. Location services is fine with us. I'm going to sign in with our Apple ID. We'll blur this out of the video so we don't see uh, which Apple ID we're going to use. With any luck, this is going to two-factor to us. So obviously we need to hit the old allow button on our phone. 714-157. That is called two-factor authentication. So we got some terms and conditions to agree to. I'm sure you all have read those many times. All right, wants to give me a password for this computer account. I'm going to give them a password just because I need to. Password hint is optional. Um, whatever. Doesn't matter at this point. It's going to start setting up our iCloud account. Essentially, it's talking to Apple's servers as we speak. All right, it set up our iCloud account. It is asking us now if we want to use analytics and share crash data with developers. Perfectly fine with me. Enable Siri on this Mac. There again, perfectly fine. And setting up our Mac. A few check boxes and some spinning. And at this point, the operating system that this has on it is... Looks like Sierra. Okay, so this is 10.12.8. So what we're going to do very first thing out of the gate is get to the App Store and jump on Mojave, which is the new operating system as of the end of 2018. Click the download button and get rolling. It's already starting to tell me that, hey, you've got some new accounts. Maybe I want a password. Um, We'll get this on Mojave and we'll be right back. Okay, so this has installed Mojave and it has gotten to the point where I can log in with my password for the very first time. So again, we just unboxed this a bit ago. Um, it did take about 45 minutes to install uh, the new operating system. It looks like we're going to answer a few questions. Data and privacy. We can choose light mode or dark mode. Doesn't matter to me right now. We'll go with light. Setting up my Mac. A couple of checkboxes. Super cool. They're touting the new Mac App Store. Totally redesigned. 2018. That's actually very good. You can actually see my Apple ID is what I am signed into this App Store with. Minimize that for now. Don't really need to be in the App Store. Although it does look like there's some apps that might need to be updated. So I'm going to go to System Preferences. 
Um, one thing, when you are using iCloud to set yourself up on a new machine, you don't get uh, a lot of applications transferring over like you would with Time Machine. Um, but let's look at some iCloud preferences. Essentially, you see my name there. You can see iCloud Drive on options under that. Uh, everything is checked. You can see that we are not using iCloud Photos yet, but we're going to check that box. Um, and apparently I'm going to have to type in my password really quickly. And open Photos. And use iCloud Photos. Okay. So opening Photos for the first time, what this is going to do is connect to my iCloud Photo library and download it. 15,826 items updating as we speak. That's actually very nice. So I'm interested to see how long it takes essentially to get my iCloud data um, synced onto this machine. We see Photos is spinning there. So I'm going to pause the video and I will let you know how long it takes for this to come online and then you can see my photos already starting to populate. Um, we will see how long it takes for all of these photos to come online as well. One of our All Works phone systems that we install. Okay. So I'll let you know about how long this takes. Okay, so it looks like just under 20 minutes to get uh, my iCloud restored to the point where I can at least use it. Uh, the photos looks like we're about a third of the way there at this point. So we can kind of look at what that looks like. In photos, it still says about 9,602 update, but you get the idea that it's going, um, you know, fairly quickly. We've got a decent amount of photos uh, back here in place ready to be looked at. You can see my notes from iCloud are for the most part back in place. My calendar uh, looks like it's good to go. Uh, my desktop uh, folders in iCloud, uh, there's, there's my desktop files and here's my documents files. Um, for the most part, all here. Anything, of course, with the uh, little arrow means that there are some still uh, left to download. Um, and, of course, it's going to optimize storage. It's not going to download things that I don't need or things that I haven't used in a particular amount of time. And then, of course, any file that I need in particular, uh, I can just click on and download it. Applications, of course, like if I need to re-download Adobe, I need to start, get that Adobe Download Manager. Uh, installed and then download those applications. So applications for the most part are fairly easy to install, but this gets all the data that I needed. It was all backed up uh, on iCloud and all restored from start to finish all fairly quickly, including upgrading the operating system, uh, I would say under an hour and a half. Um, I'm up and running and ready to go. This is actually great. I love this.